you have one hour before either your guests or a buyer is about to come through your house. How are you gonna clean it in that short of time? It's Take a Tip Tuesday. Hi, my name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer, providing you the best real estate tips with a dash of humor. Be sure to subscribe now so you don't miss my most beneficial but humorous tips. This week, I'm hoping that it's not very humorous, but more educational because we've all had it happen. Either you have guests coming over in an hour, your mom's stopping by in an hour, or you're about to have a home showing in about an hour. I'm gonna give you some great tips to get your house pretty clean before your guests come over or that home buyer. The thing about it is, is that if you're a person that's having a guest come over, you have a little bit more leeway than the person that's actually coming to take a look at your house. So I'm gonna show you two ways. I'm gonna show you if you don't really care, you know, you can just shove th things under bed. But if you have a buyer coming over, you're gonna wanna hide things a little bit better than if you were having just your mom come over. So uh, I'm gonna give you these helpful tips. I'm gonna enlist the help of my daughter and and it's just gonna be the two of us. And we're gonna set the timer for exactly one hour. So that way you can kind of mop yourself out the door as your guests come over or your new home buyer comes over. So you can just mop your way out. <laughs> All right, so let's get started because you don't wanna hear me talk anymore, so let's go. So I wanna have complete disclosure with all of you. My house isn't for sale, so it is beyond messy. But I do have company coming over sometime soon, not within an hour, but I do have company coming over. So I just thought it would be the best way is to show you my house in its natural state. <laughs> It's a mess. I have kids that are messy. It's the last week of school and I've kind of let them slide with uh, some of the stuff picking up wise. So I just thought this would be the best. You're gonna see exactly one hour. I'm gonna set the timer on my um, microwave right now. So that way you know that I didn't cheat. It's only gonna be one hour and I'm gonna show you everything that I've done. I'm gonna give you all the tips and tools that I use to get it done. And I'm gonna give you some extra tips, especially if your home's for sale, where to hide some of these things that are around the house. So that way your buyers don't see it. I'm gonna enlist the help of Sydney. She's gonna help me and we are gonna set the clock one hour. Let's go. There's good things I'm gonna want you to grab right away. The first thing I'm gonna want you to grab is um, some laundry baskets, some empty ones. The second thing I'm gonna want you to grab is uh, a trash can. The third thing I want you to grab is another kind of basket to put important papers in. And then I want you to grab three different microfiber towels. So grab those things first and I'm gonna explain each one of them. Maybe Sydney won't help me. I'm hoping that she will. So the first thing I'm gonna give her to do, uh, the first task I'm gonna give her to do is to go around the house and pick up all the dirty laundry and stick it in this basket. And then we're gonna put that in the laundry room. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our uh, three different colored microfiber towels. I will put a link in the description of um, the different kinds of uh, microfiber cloths, but these are fantastic because they do pick up dust and they do clean up stuff. You're gonna have one microfiber cloth that is wet. You're gonna have another microfiber cloth that is dry. And then you're gonna have one other microfiber cloth to clean the toilet. And Ow. <laughs> And we're gonna we're gonna like rush around because we're running out of town, Sydney. So hurry up, grab the basket. Okay. So the first thing we have is the wet microfiber cloth, and then we have an empty laundry basket. And we're gonna go around and start cleaning the countertops. And the countertops have a lot of stuff on them. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start removing all the stuff and put it in this laundry basket because we just don't have a lot of time to uh, you know pick up a lot of stuff and start putting them away one by one. This will save some time. So put all your all your stuff that you have hanging around in this basket and then wipe the, the counters down at the same time. This is a real time saver and you can just put everything away at once. So here we go. So this pertains to people that actually have their house for sale. If you have equipment like this, which I love, my food saver, put this stuff away. Um, new buyers don't wanna see your countertops cluttered up, so take all that stuff off and only put the things that make your counters look as clear and clean as possible. Okay, so these microfiber cloths that you've been using to wipe off your countertops with are an excellent way to actually clean stainless steel too. So just make sure you wipe down all that too. No one wants to see yucky fingerprints all over your stainless steel. So you can wipe down your refrigerators and um, all your stainless steel appliances with that wet microfiber cloth, the green one. Oh, before I forget, if you have pets and you're about to have a home showing, make sure you pull up your dog bowls in any kind of dog bedding. A lot of buyers aren't really keen on pets as much as I love my dogs, I have three. 
but they don't like that stuff. So pull up any kind of bedding, dog toys, or any, um, any water bowl, so that way it kind of looks like you don't have pets. Oh, look, if you want some more pet tricks on how to get the smell of pets out of furniture and the smell of dog pee out of carpet, I'm gonna go ahead and put the links to those videos right here. I'll also have them in the description as well. <laughs> We're 20 minutes down, 40 minutes left. Oh, before, um, wait, I wanna tell you guys. <laughs> I wanna tell you something. So if you have somebody coming over, you wanna have all these dishes around the house. I don't want my kids to eat in their bedrooms or anything, so we don't have any di dishes, thank goodness. But if you do have people coming over quickly, you can just take your dishes, don't worry about like cleaning them perfectly, just stick them in the dishwasher, just get them out of plain sight, and um, just load it up, let it go. Remember I told you to grab three laundry baskets? That's, this is gonna be for laundry basket number two. This is all for all the stuff that is sitting on the couch. We love throw blankets, and so that's one of those things that really only needs to be one on a couch. I'm gonna fluff the pillows, I'm gonna put all the extra blankets in here, and this is gonna go in the laundry room because buyers that come by are expecting to see clothes in a laundry room, and it's okay. And um, the other reason is, if you actually have guests that come over, the most likely they're not gonna have be going into your laundry room anyway, so don't even worry about it. But just stick them in here, so that way your house and your couch looks really uh, nice and tidied up. So remember, three of these, they work. If you have extra stuff on the couch, like book bags and computers, stick them in between the blankets so no one can tell that there's extra stuff in there other than clothes, which would typically go in a laundry basket. <laughs> we just have over 30 minutes left. So we've gotten the kitchen, the living room, and uh, Sydney went ahead and tackled the bathrooms, toilets. So I'm gonna show you what to do with the countertops and the sinks and the toilet too. But look, Look how the living room has come along. Right now, we're gonna go and tackle the dusting around the house, and I'm gonna do that in one quick step. It's super easy, you're gonna love this. Remember I said to keep one of the microfiber uh, cloths dry? This is what you're gonna go and run around the house as quickly as possible and start dusting off your countertops. Remember to have that one laundry basket free so when it, as you're dusting, you can start throwing stuff in there. And you're probably wondering where you're gonna put all this stuff. So if you have somebody coming over really quick, you're gonna stick those laundry baskets in the garage. Normally home buyers, they come through your house, they just do a quick look in the garage and it wouldn't be off, you know, just too off-putting just to see a laundry basket full of stuff. Even better yet, if you have a, some boxes that you can start throwing those stuff in, just do that and put that in the garage because no one would even suspect the wiser that you were just doing it to declutter and clean up your house really fast. So if you have an extra box, that's great too. But most people, on a typical day, they have uh, laundry baskets hanging around their house, so I thought that'd be easier. But microfiber cloth, the whole entire house. Is this a deep clean? Absolutely not, but it will get all the dust off all your furniture. So let's get to it. Here's another little thing, because most people that come over to your house that are going to look at your house don't sit on your couch or look behind your pillows. So you can hide things like remote controls and scissors and stuff like that behind the throw pillows. Is it clean? No, but it gets everything out of the buyer's eyes. So just stuff things behind there. Another thing is, is if you have a really big bed, you can actually throw things underneath that bed. Just make sure they're not visible when you walk into a room or come in from the bathroom that people can't see that you've just dumped a bunch of stuff underneath your bed. Uh, I am hoping that you guys don't have your house as messy as mine, but if you do, this is good tips just to, get decluttered really fast. <laughs> like I said, we only have like 30 minutes left, so we're hustling. Remember I told you you needed a basket for important papers? I have papers all around the house on the kitchen counter uh, in my bedroom because I do a lot of work for my room. And so um, this is gonna be the basket for the important papers, so that way they don't get lost. They're all in one centralized spot, so you're like, I can't find that paper after you've cleaned up. You just know it's all gonna be in this one basket. So if anything has been picked up, any paper-wise, it's gonna be in here. So remember to use this basket. You're gonna be thanking me later for it. 
One luxury you don't have as a home seller is like stuffing things in drawers. So if you're gonna actually stuff things in drawers, put them in your personal like bedside table or um, you know your dressers or anything like that. Don't put them in kitchen cabinets or closets because as soon as your buyers open the doors, they're gonna see that stuff. So if you can just stuff it in other places to clean up really quickly, again, this isn't a deep clean, just stick it in your personal drawer, uh, dresser drawers and cabinets that you know that buyers will not open. Oh, before we finish cleaning up the countertops, there's one more thing I wanna point out to you. If you have things like this, like the electric toothbrush, or you know your water pick or whatever it is you have on the counters, your shaving stuff. You know, only if you have your house for sale, go ahead and stick those things underneath the sink. Um, buyers will be accepting of the fact that you know it's bathroom stuff that goes underneath the sink. Just make sure you put it away in in a nice way so it isn't just shoved in there. If you wanna know more about staging uh, your bathroom, I actually did a video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and link it on either one of these corners. I'm gonna link it and you can go ahead and watch that so you know how to actually stage your bathrooms correctly for when you have home buyers and you can do it yourself. So I'm in my daughter's room and I find trash. A lot of trash like this, lots of little papers and um, little things like that. So this is why whenever you go into each room when you're trying to clean up really fast, make sure you carry your claws, your microfiber claws with you and a trash can so you can just start stuffing all those things in there. This came from my kitchen so after I'm done I'm gonna stick this right back in the cabinet that it belongs to in the kitchen. Um, if you have guests coming over, they expect trash in a trash can. If you have a buyer coming through, they expect trash in a can, trash can. Just as long as it doesn't stink. So this is just papers and stuff, so this will work. Okay, so we literally have seven minutes left and I have to clean these floors. I had this great trick for cleaning floors and um, a lot of people use the Swiffer Sweepers, which work fine. It works really great, great those little wet jets. But I have one of these electronic ones and I just fill it up with um, white vinegar and water, but that usually has a smell that most people aren't really keen on, which is white vinegar. So I'm just doing them with plain water. This is not a sanitation perfect clean. This is just to make people feel comfortable and that they're in a clean environment. Now Sydney, because we only have seven minutes left, she's gonna go ahead and vacuum all the carpet. So we're almost done. I'm gonna let you know what it looks like after set, uh, after the full hour. I'm, I mean, it was everything done? No, but I'm gonna give you full disclosure on what we got done in an hour. Five, four, three, two, there it is. One hour, I did it. Um, is it perfect? Mm, no, I'm not even sure if the camera's angled right, so I'm hoping this is correct. But I still have my little cloth out. Um, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna walk you through this whole house exactly what it looks like in an hour. But if your home was for sale, of course it wouldn't even be this messy to begin with. Um, this is just for, you know, like this is for people that are living in their homes, you know, regular life. But it also is great for if you're doing a last minute showing that you were unexpected to happen. There's some great tricks that you can learn from this. And one of them is microfiber towels. Get three of them in three different colors. One for dusting, one that's wet for countertops, and then one for your toilets, which is, you know, that goes without saying. The other thing I wanted to share with you that is that I, as I was doing this, um, the, the mirrors in the house really didn't look good. So I was just trying to use these three microfiber towels. So I was able to wipe it with the white, the wet uh, microfiber and then dry it with this. Was it perfect? No, but it didn't leave too many streaks and it looked a lot better than just leaving them plain with toothpaste, you know, spit from kids wiping all over. You know how kids are, they're gross. They just don't care. So they, <laughs> but it does work. So just know that um, if you're in a rush and there's stuff all over your mirrors, use the wet one and the dry one and that will work. Everything that I used to clean today, I will put in the description um, with some links. Um, there, all this stuff works really well. I didn't use any um, particular cleaning products. Sydney was the only one that used a cleaning product to clean the toilets. I told her she didn't even have to, but she felt like compelled to do it, so. It was kaboom! <laughs> she used kaboom. She said that she used kaboom on the on the toilets. So um, other than that, I'm gonna go, let's like go ahead and take a look at the finished results in one hour.
Sydney liked to declare this is her least favorite Take a Tip Tuesday I have ever done, mostly because she had to clean. <laughs> I don't like cleaning. But I do appreciate her help. Um, I, like, like I said, it's not perfect, but it definitely is much cleaner than it was an hour ago. There are some great things you can do, some tricks that help uh, get your house really clean. I have the number one trick, I would honestly say, a microfiber Microfiber cloth. cloth. And the, the baskets. Yeah, the baskets. <laughs> the baskets, hiding all the stuff in baskets. To take those baskets that you have that you put all your stuff in, if you didn't have time to put all the things that were in the baskets away like we did, um, just stick them in a storage room, in a closet, uh, a storage room in the garage, or just put them somewhere in the garage. If you are moving, just stick them all in a box and then put them in the garage. Uh, people are expecting that you'd see boxes during the time that you move, so that's that's not too terrible. <laughs> and even if you only had like 30 minutes, you could do a couple of these and it'd still look nice. Yeah, just straightening up alone. <laughs> yeah, just straightening up. You wouldn't have to clean, like since we had an hour, we kind of cleaned everything. So if you only had 30 minutes, just decluttering your house makes it look a lot better. A lot, but if you have any questions or you want me to talk about more um, cleaning things you could do before you're about to have a home buyer come through, you can always email me at info at your real estate whisperer. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And, and hit that notification bell. Because you don't want to miss any of my other great cleaning tips or staging tips or even buying and selling tips. My name is Christina Smallhorn. My name is Sydney Smallhorn. Your real estate whisperer. And we tell you all this. Because you matter. Because you matter. <laughs> and a clean house matters too. <laughs>